What's up YouTube? Old Man Ronan here. Welcome back to the channel. What I thought we'd do today is talk about uh, my uh, motovlog setup on my built well lane splitter, what we've done to it, and uh, how we uh, record videos for the channel. What I did and how I set up my uh, Motovlog helmet uh, with our Hero GoPro Hero 7 uh, and also the uh, Cardo Pack Talk Bold JBL. Uh, and we'll probably take things apart and put things back together and show you exactly what we did and how we mounted it. So uh, it's going to be fun. First off, let's start talking about our installation of our camera. When you get your uh, GoPro, they're going to give you a couple different mounting systems. One of them's flat and one of them's curved. Uh, on the built well, this little area we've got right here, it's really flat. So I just used the flat side as opposed to the curved. Now on my other helmet, um, it's a curved section and I use the curved uh, underneath the, uh, the arm there and it fits out there perfectly too. But the, uh, on the built well, I used the flat one and that gave us plenty of room to attach our GoPro mount uh, along with these little arms. Now these are called TAWS, uh, let me see if you can see it. Uh, it's only a couple components, it's a, it's a TAWS curved arm and then a, uh, uh, a 90 degree arm. And you'll notice when I put these together I use screws as opposed to thumb uh, thumb uh, uh, screws that comes with the GoPro and I did that because it looks like really crappy when you've got all these things hanging down I got that idea from uh, both Bike and Bird and Blockhead they uh, uh, Blockhead Moto they they both use the screws and uh, it uh, it cleans the look up a lot better and gives you a very secure mounting area because what you want to do is you want to mount the camera lens in the center of your helmet. Uh, you might want to try a couple different things. Now if you notice on this one here, on my other helmet, um, let me pull it off real quick and unplug it. This one actually has more uh, adapters to it because it's uh, it's, a, it's in a different place, it's a little farther back, and uh, so I needed a little bit more length to get it in the center view of my helmet. Um, but with the uh, built well, all I needed was the arm and then this 90 degree. And then after you've uh, mounted your helmet um, tab on there, uh, what you want to do is obviously, whoops, let's snap it down there. A the little rubber thing popped in. You want to make sure it's centered to the, the lens is centered to the center of the helmet. Now, hopefully you can see that. Um, the center of the lens is right here, the center of the helmet's right there. And that way it gives you a very good first person look as you're riding down the road. The second part you're going to do is you're going to have uh, your little uh, microphone adapter for the GoPro and that's why I use this Ulanzi. Uh, a lot of guys were taking, they were, they were uh, putting Velcro on the helmet and, uh, and then they were putting the little pack there uh, alongside of that. I, I didn't really like the way that looked. I did try it on this helmet first off and uh, to be honest with you it, uh, it, kept, it kept vibrating loose and the Velcro wouldn't hold all the time when I was doing my testing and stuff like that. So instead I, uh, I bought this Ulanzi and I know it's probably a Jap uh, Chinese company, but it's plastic. It works really well. It holds your, uh, your microphone adapter into your GoPro. And then when I run my wire out of my microphone, I just plug it in and then attach it with, uh, I know it sounds kind of goofy, but just a couple little rubber bands. And that way, because I change the camera all the time, and that way I can just uh, take it on and off. And it, uh, it, it works out really well for that. Probably one of the most important things when you put your uh, when you put your uh, microphone in, and I've got it. Let's see, it's going to be hard to see. Let me grab a flashlight. Let's uh, let's see if we can bring it down in here and and show you where the micro where the uh, speaker is. You can see it down there uh, uh, where the microphone is. Let me shine a light on it really well. Um, there, you can see the microphone right there. Um, it. 
I had to use a super glue on it because uh, that rubberized coating just would not stick. And so, I mean, I did it like several times. And I was like, wow, <laughs> that ain't working at all. So uh, I ended up using some super glue, the Gorilla Super Glue, and it ends up holding it really, really nice. Now, um, as far as the camera setup, that's uh, to record any audio. I just got uh, a unit based upon uh, what uh, Bike and Bird said, and it's this little Sony, uh, this little Sony recorder, and, and I've got some wires tucked in here and there. I haven't tried it yet. Um, I'll let you know in my next moto vlog how it works. Uh, I did do a quick little test as far as it recording the the um, uh, the sound as far as my uh, what my speakers here. Now I'm not sure how it's going to record uh, the people talking because that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to record the when I put the Cardo systems in uh, the JB the Pack Talk. Uh, uh, Pack Talk Bold JBL. Uh, it's supposed to record what I hear, um, and then of course, as I'm moto vlogging, I have to sync it. We'll see how that works. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, by far, I'm not any expert. In fact, uh, when we go to the bike to show the uh, when we go to the bike to show the other uh, uh, setup for the moto vlog, you'll see that uh, I don't do the, uh, the 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 first person on the handlebars as much as I do straight shooting off because I'm still learning and. Uh, there's all kind of tricks and tips and stuff like that I've heard, but uh, I haven't been able to match it perfectly to where I was happy with it. And if you know anything about uh, uh, me being a, uh, um, a perfectionist, <laughs> I have to have it perfect or I don't want to do it. Um, which is why some of the videos uh, have some funny endings and stuff to it because uh, the, the camera work uh, just didn't come out the way I liked. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm going to share it with you, but uh, it uh, maybe wasn't as perfect as I wanted it to be. The Cardo Pack Talk Bold JBL, um, fantastic. Uh, that's what I'll tell you right off the bat. It's uh, it's got a built-in FM radio, which is kind of cool. It's got the intercom when we're on group rides. Um, like I said, you, uh, some of the stuff that uh, we've done, like when we took the trip to the Moonshine thing, there was so much conversations Iron Lady and I had that were funny as hell. But I couldn't get her voice on it at the time. I didn't have this little critter yet, and so. I wasn't able to share it with you because one-sided conversations, it sounds like you're arguing with a politician. <laughs> it doesn't do any good. Uh, but uh, uh, what we've got uh, with this uh, Cardo bull pack is, uh, is uh, and I'll show you how I set things up. Uh, this little bracket comes in and then you do use the same thing. It's got the 3M tape and it glues to the side of your helmet and then you've got the wires. One goes to the speaker and then one goes to the uh, your microphone. Uh, the speakers, uh, now on this helmet, it's different than the other helmet. Let me show you the other one first. Stay, don't fall. Uh, in this helmet, um, the speakers slide in this little, and I'll get my flashlight back out. The speakers are attached, let's see if you can see this. Uh, the speakers are attached to the sidewall in the little ear pockets and that works really well um, on the built well there are little holes back in there but there are also little pockets little pockets that uh, that the actual speakers fit in so you don't really need and let me see I'm gonna pull this on out let me show you They have these little pockets where the speakers go in and uh, it makes it really easy to change from bike to bike. You just go ahead and stick it right in there in that little pocket and then you cover it back up and then you snap it into place. And uh, that way you don't really have to have it glued on the inside of your helmet. Um, I don't know if you can see down in there or not. but. You don't have to have it glued on the inside of your helmet there because it's uh, uh, it's in your little side cheek pad. The really cool thing about uh, um, the Biltwell is this is a 24 millimeter. Um, let's see if you can see it. This is a 24 millimeter cheek pad. Uh, it's a little tight for me. If you'll notice, sometimes I'll swallow hard because. Uh, uh, it's squeezing my cheeks. Now, I've talked to Biltwell and they've, in the next couple weeks they're getting some smaller ones. I'm going to get a 19 and a 15 millimeter that won't 
push down on my cheeks as well. But it still has the same uh, features as far as having a little earpiece pocket, which I think is really, really good. Uh, that way you can kind of move it around too. If, it's, uh, if, if your ears uh, are in a different place, you can actually slide it back and forth uh, anywhere you want in the pocket. And so it's more custom, uh, like I say in the videos, customability is a lot better. So that's kind of a cool thing to, to, uh, to, that Biltwell has done. And it keeps it from, uh, you know, like I say, you've got the little hole for the, uh, for the, uh, um, Got the little hole area there for the for the speakers to slide into if you don't want to use the pockets but i will make a recommendation if you don't use it uh the little pocket cut them off because you can't hear squat through them <laughs> there's a two layers and uh, they they're not conducive for sound passing through very well i learned that the hard way <laughs> To be honest with you, I thought there was something wrong with my speakers in here. No, it was just the fact that uh, it was going, trying to go through two things and it just didn't sound right. So that's a, for your built well guys, don't put it in the slot, put it in the pocket and uh, you'll be a much better off. Well, that's kind of uh, the setup I have in the helmet as far as uh, it's really easy to do. The cool thing about, again, this lane splitter that I like besides being a great helmet is the fact that uh, everything snaps in and out. And uh, that snap in and out stuff enables you to hide the wires and then you can move it around. So if it's touching your head in the wrong place, you can put it up underneath the, uh, the skull part or you can put it along the sides or in the back. Uh, it's a place to hide the wires and you don't have to glue them. I mean, you can, but uh, that rubberized finish in there is not conducive for having it glued down. So what I do instead is I just kind of hide it back there. And so far, I mean, nothing wiggles out, nothing shakes out. Um, I really, really, uh, I like the way that it does. Now, now this other helmet, uh, um, I, I, uh, I use it. Uh, more or less when I don't, uh, you know, if I'm going to a place that um, I'm not worried about the uh, helmet being stolen, I, I, you know, I try to carry stuff with me everywhere I go, but, you know, this is my knock-around helmet. It, I, I use it. It's one of the very first ones that I've uh, motovlogged with. In fact, it is the very first one I motovlogged with. And, I, you know, I, I really enjoy the helmet. It's comfortable. Uh, I've got it uh, uh, set up exactly the same way as the lane splitter. Um, but uh, and I use it uh, probably about uh, 30 to 40 percent of the time anymore the lane splitter is my number one helmet and the main reason why is the lane splitter is so much more quiet as far as for motor vlogging now there's better helmets on the market I'm sure but uh, again this was at the right price and it did the right job for me and it does the right job for me so um, I really enjoy this helmet so much so that Iron Lady is going to get one here pretty soon as well too and it may be M's um, I really I really like the lane splitter so uh, we'll do a full review on this down the road but right now today all I wanted to do was show you how I set up the moto vlog as far as uh, getting the pictures on the helmet now we're going to take you to the uh, to the bike when I was looking for mounts for the GoPro on a motorcycle, um, I wanted to find something that was going to be sturdy and strong. And I ran into these little critters right here. They're, uh, uh, they're a, uh, several different, um, um, what do you call it, position. You put these little aluminum uh, extensions on that gives you the side to side and the GoPro has this way back and forth but then you also have uh, these little screw knobs here that you can take and move the unit around any position you want and that way it gives you a very solid because they're all aircraft aluminum and I have them on all the bikes but it gives you a very solid platform and then of course I mount the uh, Hero uh, 8 uh, black on this and then I've got each one of my bikes I have uh, one of these mounts. They're not that expensive. Like I said, that's the one on the Road King. You come on over here to the to the Sportster, and there's one there for the Sportster again, all aluminum. And then slide on back to the uh, to the Deluxe, and it's got one there as well too. And again, you've got little wrenches that you tighten these down with, and they're not coming off. You could literally leave your uh, leave your uh, um, camera on there and go into the store you need when you tighten them down you need a wrench to take them back off
Well, that's uh, that's kind of the setup we have on the bikes. Uh, you know, we've got uh, we've got the uh, aluminum braces, and that's basically what I wanted to show you folks is what we do when we put our uh, our cameras on the motorcycle and do the moto vlogs, uh, and uh, what we've got coming for the future. Now, I'm by no f no means an expert. I mean, that's as far from an expert as you can. But I'm pretty good at uh, at knocking through things and learning by making mistakes and and learning uh, how to do things. Uh, hopefully, it shows that the more videos we do, the better it gets. And again, once I learn a little bit more about how to do this editing uh, will give him fancier I reckon but uh, again old man Ronan old dog can learn new tricks and uh, this is one of them learning how to motor vlog because I have a blast doing it and like I said I've got a wealth of uh, information I want to share with you all and hopefully uh, you can learn something from it or just be entertained by my goofiness <laughs> regardless uh, like I said uh, in here the garage uh, this is where the girls have their home and uh, we're just now building into here uh, this is where the uh, this is where we do the work. Uh, right now, I got a little makeshift studio up. Uh, I don't know how easy it is to see in here. Let's see. Uh, we got some of our tools out. Uh, I'm still in the process of wiring. So we've got a lot of wiring to do yet. Uh, I've got uh, some 220 lines to run, 110. That I do know how to do. Uh, but we'll get uh, we'll get through this stuff uh, a little bit at a time. Again, we have to buy stuff a little bit at a time. You know, like for motorcycle parts. That's why I don't have a brand new bike. <laughs> uh, can't afford it. But. We've got older bikes that we've had for a while, and uh, we keep uh, we keep working on them to make them even better. And so I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to put the, or how I do my uh, my moto vlog and the helmet and also on the motorcycles. It's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe. Let's see where we're gonna put it. We're gonna put the subscription over here this time. Subscribe. Uh, share comment i read all the comments and comment on all the comments until next time ride safe and keep her on two wheels baby